The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has given the federal government a 21-day ultimatum to resolve its face-off with the four university-based unions that led, to the, uh, that led to the ongoing strike. In a communique issued at the end of the meeting between NLC leadership and four university-based unions in Abuja, Labour also said it will convene a special meeting with the Central Working Committees, CWC, of all its affiliate unions to decide on the next line of action if government failed to take urgent steps to resolve the crisis. NLC is waiting in now. That means ASU, SANU, ASU, the, all these affiliate unions that, yeah. you know, threatening that being on strike, uh, the, um, what do they call it, warming of strike. Yeah. And what do they call that strike again? Yeah, warning strike. Uh, warning strike, yeah. yeah. That, look, yeah, so it's, it's good to uh, hear Asu back. But is it enough to back? Will Asu bite? NLC. Sorry. Uh, will NLC bite? Sorry. Mm. So we're talking about NLC here. Because o over time, that organization appears to have lost its potency, you know, uh, in defending the interests of Nigerian workers. And here we're talking about, about you know, lecturers. So for me, I, I hope this is not just about grandstanding. It would be nice to see what the Nigerian Labour Congress does in the next 21 days that it has promised you know, that it will intervene. We all need dialogue. The Nigerian educational system has been down for a very long time. Mm. And the leadership doesn't seem to care about the crisis that we have in that sector, all right? Promises made, promises not delivered, and you wonder if there is sincerity in the entire exercise. You know, and we are losing it. Mm. Our kids at home, for mm. over one year, the last time, you know, I, I had the privilege. Yeah, the last time I, the I had of twenty twenty. The last time I had the privilege of, of, of being here, I, I did say that in five years we had lost one whole year mm. to strike. Mm. You know what that means. More than now. Do you now. understand? Three more months added added to it. So we hope that the NLC, you know, will um, will walk the talk and play its part in ensuring that all the contending forces in this in this uh, crisis get to see them and dialogue and ensure that sincerity forms the core of the conversations that we're going to have on this issue. Nigerian students need to get back to school. We are losing it, not in this age of knowledge economy. And we, uh, sadly, we, we've got into the stage, I mean, the era of uh, politics. And you wonder if the government is really going to show, show enough concern in terms of dialogue, which also pains, you know, work out. And the lecturers are not asking for too much. It will be, it will be difficult for any parent now to say that ordinarily, because of the, the trend of things, mm -hmm. when you have to choose between University of Lagos and a private university because of the stability and, you know, you know, you can predict the academic calendar of a private university. Right now, it's so difficult to send your word to a federal government university. But it's, um, it's inevitable. But it's, it's, can it's, afford. it's not possible. Majority of our, uh, our students will still have to go to public universities because how many mm. people can afford the kind of uh, extortionate uh, school fees that these private universities are taking from us? How many people? So is this even where people? Um, it's not even a matter of choice for most people. They can't afford it. In a difficult Nigeria that we found ourselves, mm -hmm. an overwhelming majority of parents can't afford to put children in uh, in uh, private, private universities. Where are they going to find the money? Where the university is asking you to pay about eight hundred thousand or more or one point five million for some courses? For a semester, how many parents can afford that? How many parents, even some parents who, who, who in the past could afford it, some of them now having lost their jobs with things becoming terrible in our country, mm -hmm. a lot of them now can't afford it anymore. So you yeah. have a child in the university, you'll be begging uh, people for money. Ah, hey Joe, me, this is old school, uh, your <laughs> mommy. You have to beg people so that. Would, uh, so, what is the thing? We have no choice but to let the university, the public universities, survive. Because that is the place where 
majority of our people can send their children. Those who are our leaders today, those of them who went to school, mm -hmm. it's those public universities that they went to. At least among the president's ministers, I can count the universities that some of them went to. They were not products of uh, uh, private, private universities. Investors. That was not even even during our time. Mm -mm, it doesn't mm -mm. we didn't even have them. Mm -mm. You know, mm -mm. and the, the, these guys are older than me, and the clear majority of them are older than me. So where do we send people? We've got to save the public university system from collapsing, because more and more people will still have to pass through the public university system. Infrastructure that is collapsing there, these guys are making demands. Let's do something about infrastructure collapsing the universities. Government has to come up with some money, at least to, to freshen up infrastructure in those universities. I saw hostels mm. of the University of mm. Nigeria, Nigeria. Suka, the other day, somebody posted it. I said, wow, what is all this? Wow. Things were not this bad when we were in school. Big embarrassment. So, We've got to encourage the Minister of Labor. I know that I believe now that if Ungege has his way, he will solve this problem. But it's beyond him mm. because he cannot, he, cannot, he cannot raise the funds mm. to I save have, us from this, uh, this mess. I have Uche from Anambra State. Thank you for joining us, Uche. Yeah, thank you. Um, Ayo, um, good evening, Ayo. Good evening, uh, Babakide. Good evening. And, uh, Madam. Okay. Good evening, sir. Yeah, this is Uche. Okay. okay, go ahead. Uh, I, actually, um, the issue of insecurity is, is getting out of hand. Like I told you, Baba the other day, I told you that uh, um, in Anambra, yes. any day we have heat at home on Monday, mm. police will also go for They also go for uh, heat at home. <laughs> yes. You can't see any police on Monday. Even all these big men that go on with convoy, you can't see them. Everywhere mm. we just, everybody will just cooperate. Mm. Like, everybody just cooperate. Like, like it's a, it's a, it's a um, national holiday, mm. like mm. a national mm. holiday. Mm. So something has to be done about it. Mm. Now the issue of uh, what us now on site, and the, the children, all these students now, are, are, they are now, you know, at home. It's another form of insecurity because when a child that is supposed to be in school is not at home. I do not think it's a general mass workshop. So they can now be thinking of, you know, joining the, 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 the status quo, which is crime. So the government should do something about this. Let. Uh, oh, we lost each other. Yeah. So, as I was saying, it's. Um, if this is um, the one is right. This, this, I know. Um, Non-academic uh, staff union, senior staff association, in all of these groups, mm. they are going to eventually ground the university system completely. Yeah. It's not going to be ASUS strike alone. Mm -mm. By the time others join them, there are some demands that ASU is making that are also related to their own demands. But NASU is the yes, yes, that they too will benefit from. Mm. So it's pressure that is being piled. Well, um, at the national level, you could say NLC has not really mounted any significant, um, um, they've not done anything significant in recent time. But don't forget the role they played in Kaduna when the uh, NSC president by himself went to Kaduna Just and, shut and down let the shut down shut the place, down, yeah, let yeah. the uh, demonstration, mm -hmm. and even went to government house. Mm, was declared wanted. Yes, he went there. He said, mm. "See, I'm here." No, I so it. this is the, now NSC is just trying to um, uh, to weigh in with his own efforts. Let us see whether within those 21 days, whether something significant can happen. Because if all of the university unions fail to go to work, so what is left? Hmm. What is, is left? So we shouldn't system? wait until things degenerate up to that point. That's what we're used to. We wait. We don't, uh, we are not proactive. It is, we are reactive. It is after the whole thing that have scattered. Yeah. Now Nasu is talking, now Sano is talking, and say, look, if you don't, if you do this for us, we too we want this. It's about prioritization, Ayo. You know, I talked about it earlier. We've got to be deliberate about certain things. 
What value do we place on education? That's the key question. Nigeria, as far as I'm concerned, is about one of one of the few countries where you know uh, the university system is shut down for for almost a year, and everybody just goes about as if it's it's, it's a normal thing. So the government needs to come under a lot of pressure. It's commendable that the NLC is talking about you know um, some intervention. We want to see that happen because something has to give. It's three months down the line. And there are no guarantees that in the next one or two months that these issues will be resolved. So if it will take the NLC to pile more pressure on the government to get things done, so be it. But we have to continue to talk to our government. The sector that is designed you know, to produce the leaders of tomorrow is down and almost out. And we are carrying on as if you know, things are just normal. Things are not normal. The question to ask is why are we getting into agreements that, not we, why, them. that we had no plan to, to implement? Execute. Why are we getting to such? There was a memorandum of action in December 2020 that um, prompted ASU to end the strike. Yes. Have we implemented it? No. If it had been so, implemented, nobody so would be talking about strike now. It, it was the same thing that happened in the health sector. You signed, you signed the memorandum or for understanding with them, and then proceeded to not implement until they decided to go on strike. Hmm. Right. So why is it that we always don't honor we, we don't our, honor our word? Yes. As, as, as a government, sincerity. your word is bond. Hmm. People will respect you when they know that you are someone who honors his obligations, who honors his word. Hmm. And as long as we keep signing agreements with labor unions, just for them to end strike, and then when they end the strike, they then wait for another eight months, nine months, you are not prepared to implement, we will continue to have unrest within our university system and other sectors. We need sincerity.